Are you a gatekeeper, mom? Hi, my name is Mark Joseph, and I'm a South Florida family law attorney. And you're here to find out if you or someone you know is a gatekeeper mom. Are you a mother who's raising a child or children? Who knows where those child or children's father is? And when he attempts to try to spend time with the children, you don't let him? Or are you the mother who says they're a single parent, although they're not allowing the father to be involved in their child's life? You may be a gatekeeper mom. One of the things that occurs a lot in my practice is dealing with gatekeeper mothers. Whether they're my clients or the opposing party, gatekeeper moms are very problematic in the family law community. Now, let me be clear. I don't want to ostracize or beat up on the single mother who, although would be willing to allow the father into the child's life, that unfortunately, whether it be because he doesn't want to, he's not there, or something far dire, isn't able to have that father figure in the child's life. I'm specifically talking to the mothers who have the father there, the father who wants to be there. And for whatever reason, they don't allow it to happen. Now, a lot of gatekeeper moms don't realize they're a gatekeeper mom. In their minds, they feel like they're the only ones who can raise their child. Now, no matter how true they may believe that to be, the court system disagrees with them. Florida law is very heavy on ensuring that both parents are involved in a child's life. And the courts have a heavy hand on mothers who try to gatekeep or otherwise alienate the father from the child's life. Now, if you've seen some of my other videos, you'll know that if a child is born out of wedlock, which is both parents were not married at the time, the fathers have no rights. So under the theory of the law, until he goes and establishes his paternity, the father has no rights to access time or even decisions with the child. But at the end of the day, it's important for that child to have both parents. Now, one of the reasons why I wanted to highlight this in the video is because the dynamic between parents are so important in how a child grows up and how the child addresses conflict. A mother could raise a child by herself and raise an exceptional child. However, imagine how much further that child could have gotten with having both the mother and father involved. I wanna go back to the way the state of Florida deals with it. State of Florida is very clear. If the father files and wants to be in that child's life, barring any sort of decision that that father is an unfit parent, that father will have time and have decision-making and have a right to be active in major decisions with that child. The question does become how much time. I don't want to make it seem like it's all bad for the gatekeeper mom. One thing that I've also seen in my experience is that you'll have a mother who spends the first five, 10 years raising a child by herself without any sort of assistance from the father, whether it be time or money. And then the father just wants to come back around. And not only does he want to come back around, he wants to come back around and wants half the time, which if you've seen some of my previous videos, is a real consideration by the courts. In that case, can we really be mad at the gatekeeper mom? So at this time, I would like to give a consideration, so to speak, for the men who deal with the gatekeeper mom. Put yourselves in their shoes. 
or how would you feel if somebody after five or 10 years of you working on something really important, let's say your career or putting a car together or anything. And after those five or 10 years, someone wanted to come in, take half of it and then tell you that they're entitled to it just because of their existence. And that's essentially how that gatekeeper mom would feel. Now, is she really gatekeeping or is she trying to protect the interest of her children? That's what the courts are there to decide. So my best suggestion is to be there from day one or as from as soon as you can. And if you're a couple years off from that, start there, start right now. But just know you may have to work your way into it. Don't think you could just go before a judge and go from having no time with a child to half the time. Because no matter how good your attorney is, no attorney is better than the facts that are presented to him. So to close it out, I would like to say this. As much as I've had to deal with gatekeeper moms, whether good or bad, I totally respect and appreciate the work you put in in raising your children. And Although you might have put in most, if not all the time yourself, how much greater can your child be if that father was allowed to be in that child's life? If you don't think they can be, you do have a right to have that defended in court should he choose to go through the legal route to try to establish his rights or otherwise. So to the gatekeeper moms out there, I just want to say, I totally respect the intentions in being able to raise a child all by yourself or most by yourself. The father wants to be active in that child's life. I would suggest at least give him a key to the gate. Allow him the opportunity to open the door. I'm not saying just let him in, just mess up the process and the growth that you've created with that child, but allow an opportunity to be involved and to prove himself at least. Because if you don't, the court will. My name is Mark Joseph. Thank you for watching.